Weymouth and Portland sit on a World Heritage Site, so that means it's globally important, as important as places like the Great Barrier Reef, for instance, or even the Pyramids of Egypt. Well, the Jurassic Coast goes back to 250 million years ago, at the start of the Triassic period, and the rocks on the coast record time. The best way to explore the Jurassic Coast is actually to take a boat trip and to see the cliffs from the sea because then you really get an impression of how the rocks vary and how the shape of the coast has been formed over thousands of years. East towards Lulworth and Dirtledore and White Nose. And then of course, westwards, you've got the enormous Chesil Bank. And actually in 2012, this is a really important feature because Chesil Beach is part of the Jurassic Coast. It's designated one of the defining landforms on the coastline. And it's an enormous natural coastal defence. And without it, Portland Harbour and Weymouth Bay simply wouldn't exist as they do now. Well, we've got a series of uh, threats and risks to uh, the Weymouth and Portland area. We've got uh, uh, the waves that come in right away up from the uh, South Atlantic, so we've got a long fetch, and they run up the beach and they can cause flooding. And although there's a 14 metre bank of shingle behind me, the water comes through it, it becomes permeable, and we have to intercept some of that water and to manage the risk once it comes through. King Barrow Quarry on Portland is a fantastic place to start exploring the quarrying history and heritage of Portland. It's actually disused now, but it's run and owned by Dorset Wildlife Trust because of the fantastic habitats that exist here. Here in King Barrow Quarry is one of the only other places you can see the fossil forest. These are concretions created by algae that grew around the decaying trunks of trees about 140 million years ago at the beginning of the Cretaceous period in the tropical swamp. The rocks of the Jurassic Coast offer an almost complete record through the time of the dinosaurs. And one of the pieces of evidence that we find in the rocks from that time are dinosaur footprints like these. Now these would have been a footprint made by a creature called an Iguanodon, a very large plant-eating dinosaur that would have been stomping around in shallow swamps and along shallow shorelines something around 140 million years ago. So this little seashell that wouldn't look out of place on Weymouth Beach has actually come out of the gravel on the top of the cliff of Portland Bill. And there's evidence that the sea was much, much higher and this little seashell was actually last living 125,000 years ago. That's before the last ice age when sea levels were something like 10 metres higher than they are today. And that's how this beach has been perched on the top of the cliff. Well, the most significant find from the Jurassic Coast in recent years has got to be the Weymouth Bay Pliosaur skull. It's spectacular, it's two and a half metre long skull from a ferocious marine predator that would have been up to 16 metres long. There's only a few skulls like this in the world, so it truly is a globally important fossil and it's on display in Dorset County Museum in Dorchester. If anybody wanted to have a go at fossil collecting along the Jurassic Coast, you're quite welcome to, but there are some rules and guidelines. So first of all, you should only collect small things from amongst the loose debris on the beach. Don't try to hammer into the cliff face or dig for fossils into the cliff face. That is actually damaging the World Heritage Site and uh, it's very, very dangerous. There are two things that people can do to help protect the Jurassic coastline. Of course, the first thing is to not leave any litter behind on the beaches. But actually, secondly, uh, to understand what it is that makes the coast so special. And that's all about the rocks and the fossils and the landforms and the natural processes that go to creating a fantastic exposure of all that along 95 miles of coast. Music